This is a nice hat. Uh, this goes with my colors. <laughs> Do you have a slenderizing lens? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It started uh, with my aunt and uncle. They opened up a shop on 9th Avenue with rolling paper and penny candy, some antiques and some uh, clothes. And then it, it kind of grew from there. Elvis circa 19... Uh... Pre-fat Elvis. No, that was fat Elvis. This wouldn't be fat Elvis. Fat Elvis was this. She's my surrogate daughter. <laughs> <laughs> The daughter I wanted. Right. But never got. Never got, <laughs> right. Straight jackets in case you need it. Yeah. A couple of straight jackets actually. We have more of them <laughs> downstairs, so if anybody acts up, that's what they get into. <laughs> oh, I managed a law firm for 28 years. And very, very different. I took over about 16 years ago. My aunt was begging me to do so, and uh, I thought, well, it's time. As we said, my uncle was in theater, and he knew a lot of people in theater, especially in the 50s. One of the people that he knew was Gypsy Rose Lee. You're probably all too young to know who that was. He visited her apartment, and it was, uh, it was very eclectic. He asked her what her style was, and she said, early Halloween. That's the story. Gotta have a gimmick. Let's show them some of the 20s lame. That's really beautiful. The workmanship on these things is just really beautiful. I mean, they just really don't make things like this anymore. Go ahead, put one on, Al. Uh, well, they're, they are painful. They're beautiful, but painful. These are a pair of showgirl headpieces from the 1950s, which some lovely ladies probably wore in Vegas. They've been used extensively in Boardwalk Empire, but also in editorial. I don't know, it's just lovely watching a film and seeing your stuff just seeing it in use by, uh, by very talented people. That's a great part of it. You go back into history and there are so many events that have coincided with and has affected fashion and the way people dress. It's very interesting to, to see that stuff and the evolution of fashion. What did you say? 1860s. 1860s walking suit. This is something that a lady would be wearing after she was married. How do I love vintage? Uh because they don't make things like they used to. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm.